What's good YouTube? Welcome to the video. Your boy Monster here presenting you with the top 10 things that should be nerfed and or removed from DC Universe. Um, these ideas came from some players in DC, of course, players in LBR, and of course from my experience of playing the game so far with the new update and things like that. So, we're going to start off with number 10, which is the rifle. I believe the rifle should be nerfed, but not the not the whole weapon, just the flamethrower melee part. Well, it's a block breaker, basically. So, pretty much, you can use the flamethrower and rifle, you know, with any type of weapon, and just pretty much OP with this update, as far as, you know, us having the same gear. It's pretty cheap, if you might ask me. Um, but the flamethrower, you could just spam it, you know, like we starting to play Tekken now instead of DC. You can just spam the flamethrower. It's just the fact that you are stunned every time. That's the point. Like, if they're going to keep the flamethrower, you shouldn't get stunned. It's just a it's a brick blocker. Why are you stunned? And the thing is, after the flamethrower, you go right into the weapon mastery one-handed. So, it, it's really hard to lunge that unless you're already lunging. Before they do it, it's pretty much impossible. But just the fact that you can simply just spam it, you know... Like I said, like attacking and just get a kill. I think the flamethrower should be nerfed. Um, moving along, number nine. I'm going to say EMP. Y'all knew it was coming, man. That gadget's EMP. It's it's the fact that, of course, it's the numbers. Of course, it's the mic tick, but it also break blocks. Now, what DC tried to do with EMP is tell us that we can knock you down when you're doing your EMP. But how are we going to knock you down when you clipping it, you know, it's, you're not vulnerable to interrupt. You clip, you got to clip it with a move to make it strong. And then we're stunned when you press the EMP. So it's like pointless. It's rare you're going to ever lunge them. Now, the, the big problem is, besides the damage that is due, the big problem is, um, what's the big problem? Oh, the big pop problem is the spamming of it. How you can spam it repeatedly. That's the problem with EMP. Maybe give it a, a longer loading time, like, golly, 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or make it take up more power just to, just, just to make PvP just a little bit more balanced because everybody just coming in, scrims, everything like that, just doing EMP, EMP, back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes one shot in, even though they said one shot wasn't in the game anymore, no, nah, it's still in there. Still can get one shot by EMP. Next, we have at number 8, the immunity if you guys don't know what the immunity is the immunity is um, something when you're fighting and your body starts blinking like blue or whatever like that um, and pretty much you're immune to everything almost pretty much damage you can't be broke block uh, you can't be lunged you can do whatever you want for however long it lasts I guess 10 seconds or 5 seconds you are immune to everything I think that needs to be taken out the game that's giving people the ability to sit in the sky and brick block all day, you lunging them, nothing happened. And I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the majority of the time you get it is when you use a brick out trinket. So, I think the immunity is something that should be taken out, or at least make the time faster how long it lasts. It shouldn't last that long, maybe two seconds, you know. You know how Call of Duty, you get the immunity as soon as you spawn, but it's not. You can't walk around with the immunity and shoot people with it. So that don't make sense to me. Um, number seven, I'm going to say nerf the range weapon mastery. Right, they nerfed melee. I don't think nerfing the melee was necessary, but it put a little nice balance to it. But now you have to nerf the range. You got to. Because pretty much, scrimming is almost pointless now because nobody's fighting. Everybody's just brick blocking. Whether they're in the air or on the ground, it's just a brick blocking match. So, if you nerf the range weapon mastery, then you won't have to worry about people really doing it so much because it won't be doing so much damage. It'll be more fighting and less sitting in the back. Who is, who, who's the most sneakiest chilling in the back doing break blocks? <laughs> um, what we have next? I believe we're on number six, which is the hard light chainsaw. I think the chainsaw is a little too OP pretty much hard light in general you know just because the way how pvp is now you can just spam 
in, in my opinion. So I think the chainsaw should be nerfed. The damage, let alone the fact that when when you're blocking it, they not even falling. I don't know how many swings of the chainsaw it takes, but it's just a little bit, a little bit OP, a little bit too much with the chainsaw. Um, at number five, um, something that I think should be taken out of the game is uh, the low levels being buffed up. Like a level 12 coming into a match with a person who's been grinding for as long as DC came out and they pretty much are at the same level as, as a person that I said that's been grinding. Like I don't think I don't think that makes sense. I think they need to go through it, it's like we're just making the game too easy for the new players. You know? They need to go through what we went through in order to you know, become strong and be able to survive and last long. Level 12 shouldn't be lasting as long as they last. I'm not necessarily saying uh, anybody's getting demolished by them, but just the fact that they can last long and they automatically get weapon mastery with no skill points, or basically low skill points, so I can make a new character, become level 12, level 10, and just start PvPing and beating people who has 190 skill points because I get their skill points. So all that clamping and buffing, just take that out of PvP. Um, another thing, which would be number four, is uh, movement modes. Movement modes shouldn't be removed from the game, but just for the PvP side. Um, the PvP side, you have people who are super speed. And all you see is people, every time they're about to die, they're just going to burst in the air and just start running so they don't die. So it's, it's another running match. Um, same thing with flight. You got people just sitting in the air from the jump. Um, in my opinion, I think that everyone should be grounded when you come into an arena or an instance so you can prevent the you know flying in the air or running away it's just a street fight let's just fight we're on the ground let's fight why run you know why fly away why fly in the air let's just fight so that would make pvp more competitive in a way or more more showing who has skills if i might add um but moving along if i'm not mistaken we're on three and for number three uh this is one i, I heard a lot which was the the symbols that's over top battle heads when we're fighting uh like and what i think it does what it's creating is the late break blocks and late you know running into blocks like you can like i said you guys can go try it out you can press block and then immediately start the swing but you'll still have the shield over top of your head which means you can get brick brick block and that's what's just occurring so when people are saying uh they're getting late block break reactions and all that so i maybe just take the symbol out period you know as far as when they do the mechanics for break block and just take the symbols off we already know what it looks like when someone is blocking and when someone is lunging i don't think we need the symbols and they, and they really small you really can't see the symbol anyway and they're the same color so at least give us a different color for which one they're doing and make it more visible maybe put it somewhere else on the map i don't know maybe in the background transparently but that was number three i believe now the last two is the martial arts knee now uh ironically this pretty much whole top 10 is pretty much almost all about pvp and that's just pretty much what, what the topic is uh in the dc community for the day everybody's pvp and we, we don't have a new dlc yet for pve so I'm, I'm guessing that's why we're getting these type of results for what should be taken out and or nerf. Um, but the martial arts knee, again, you can go try it yourself. You can repeatedly do the weapon mastery knee repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly while a person is blocking and you won't fall. Now, of course, sometimes you're going to fall, but the point is the majority of the time that you're fighting and uh, using the martial arts knee, you won't fall. So I think that should be nerfed. Not taking out the game, but just nerf the knee and make it more accurate. And that just adds on to what I'm talking about with those symbols too, maybe. But just go ahead and try for yourself and see. Now, last but not least, of course, there's no particular order, but the last one we have 
it's not necessarily something to take out it's kind of an addition in a way but a lot of people that aren't legendary was uh talking about the premium cash and they just believe that they should receive more money being premium and having every single dlc not they not asking for a mil but maybe you can just give them 500k or you know so they won't because a lot of people i'm witnessing when i do raids or things like that is asking people can they give them sodas can they give them tight in order to sell you shouldn't have to ask somebody else you know can can you help me sell this so i can mod my gear or repair my gear the basic player should you should at least be provided enough to you know go through the game i think it was cool when the game first came out that you can do the um the 2000 but now we got all this new stuff and of course the prices are going up with each and every update but that was it guys that was the top 10 list um we'll probably come with another list of things to add so you guys can already comment and talk about that things you think should be added to the game pve or pvp um but send your comments your likes at the bottom let us know what you think about this top 10 and if you have any more additions of something that i might left out that you think should be nerfed or taken out of the game but thank you guys for watching my name is lamonster and i'm out